We've been looking forward to doing magic for a while now. There's so much freedom in the kind of spells and abilities and effects you can have, but for now we'll tie magic into our item system using spellbooks. Unlike the spellbooks in Skyrim, which represent some kind of knowledge your character can learn, we want to go with something more like Terraria, where each spell is instead an item that you have to find in chests, or craft, or get from killing or catching enemies. Each book is unique, and you can use them like you would weapons. So right now, magic is functionally identical to archery, which we covered last episode, save for two key differences, mana and elements. Let's look at elements first. At the moment we have just three, nature, water, and fire. Working a bit like rock, paper, scissors. Fire trumps nature, nature trumps water, and water trumps fire. Each enemy has an elemental type, as does each spell. So if you shoot a nature enemy with a fire spell, it will do bonus damage. But if you shoot the same enemy with a water spell instead, it will do much less damage. So far we have a standard fire spell, water spell, and nature spell. But spells come in different shapes and sizes, from spells that can summon weapons like a bow that deals nature damage, to spells that can heal yourself and allies in an area. And by using captured enemies, you can even craft spells that summon those enemies to fight for you. These are just a few surface level examples of what magic will feel like, and we plan on adding many more spells in the future. Next up is mana. Each time you fire a spell, it uses up mana from your mana bar. More powerful spells use up more mana, and when you run out of mana, you can't use any more magic. Over time, your mana passively regenerates. Simple. And this same system is used in a lot of different games. But there's a problem. See, enemies of the same element will naturally occupy similar areas. The starting forest, for example, will mainly be filled with nature enemies. But this means that if you manage to get a fire spell early, you could steamroll your way through the early game, leaving little room for experimentation. To help mitigate this, we can shrink the mana bar, splitting it in three so that each element has its own separate mana. Now, using a fire spell only uses up fire mana while a nature spell only uses nature mana. This way, if you're in a forest, you can only use your fire spells a few times, encouraging you to switch to another element and use a variety of different spells, which is part of what makes magic so fun in the first place. And with that, we have our three main damage types, melee, ranged, and magic, complete. In the future, we might revamp magic to use Unity's particle system. So if that sounds interesting, consider subscribing to stay up to date for more content in the future. Thanks for watching.